hey guys welcome back to my channel guess what guys it's my six month big chop anniversary yes and today i'm gonna be sharing with you how i refresh my curls and what i've been up to with my hair journey you know the products i've been using all good things you know it was a big chop worth it you know how am i enjoying the journey so if you're interested in my big chop hair story stay tuned Alrighty guys, so you know we just woke up. Yeah, um gonna start the day and trust me when I do my hair I usually I style it but I don't style it with the intention of wearing it out. So when I style it I look forward to day two, day three because that's when I get to refresh the curls and they're nice and juicy and popping and stuff. The first day they're very stiff and they're a little bit too tight for my liking. So I'm gonna remove the bonnet and as you can see you know they're very tight right now so if you guys would like an updated hair tutorial comment below you know this is the sixth month of my big chop and I'm just loving it like I'm even thinking I'm going back to the barber and just shaving off my head but I'm not sure if I'm ready for that just yet so yeah six months guys like i can't believe i was actually hesitant about cutting my hair i love it so much loving the growth and i'm gonna insert a clip to show you guys the progress i've made because it was a little sparse you know i had some ball spots going on but my hair is flourishing and it's doing really good really really good i'm just really happy that i took that bold step to cut it so pretty much when i refresh my curls i don't do much um I was watching a few methods and some persons they add oil I like that wet juicy look um, I like when my curls look a little bit more bouncy I don't like that dry look so I use water to refresh my curls daily I pretty much just use three things two things some days depending on how tight the curls are so I think I had um, use a little bit more product than usual and that's why my curls are just so tight but that's a good thing because they will last me a longer time so usually I have to do my hair every six to seven days but this um, I should be able to get a week and a half out of these curls so how I start is I use my spray bottle with just water only and we're just gonna saturate the hair I just add water all over. I don't know me. I, I can't bother with the towel thing. I just, I always forget to add a towel, guys. Sorry. So yeah. Um, what's new? Chanel is wetting up herself. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we just add some water. And do you see the curls waking up now? That's what I like. So we just add some more water. And because I have all that product in there before, I don't need to add too much product. See? So that's why I just add water. And then usually as the days go by, I'll add a little bit more leave-in conditioner, a little bit more gel to twine here and there. But whatever I add on day one of my wash and go usually lasts me for the next two to three days. Yeah. And as you can see, they're still tightly coiled. I'm gonna take my Aunt Jackie's. This is my go-to gel right now. So remember in my previous video, I said no gel. I still have my no gel method that I would follow from time to time, but um, the Aunt Jackie, don't shrink, and the curling custard I use from Lady Shelley Beauty, I actually use them together. I really love them. Trust me, it's really good. It really keeps my coils in place and it's not too stiff. And I don't know, I just feel like Lady Shelly products, they've been really doing something for my hair. Like, love it, guys. Really get your hands on it. So I'll just take a, a little bit of gel and I'll just twine because because hair, the size of my hair is so short, they get loose the quickest. So we'll just retwine. So let's retwine. Um, the sides that needs anywhere that I see that needs to be retwined or in a little more gel we'll just add, add that I 
I know a few of you were commenting and saying I have a lot of patience because you wouldn't be twining your hair but guys I mean it's 45 minutes to an hour and it lasts me for the week I can't be waking up every day to you know style my hair I just like to get up refresh my curls and go so I just feel around for anywhere that's not twined or needs you know to be tightened and then yeah let's take a little bit more and trust me you'll know where there are no curls wherever you don't feel any curls and just feel like a little fro just take your finger a little gel and retwine I'll just feel around if there's any more that I need to fix. And trust me, this takes me less than 10 minutes. I won't be blow drying my hair today, but because on my regular day, I really don't. I only blow dry my hair on my wash and go day. So I just let my hair air dry so the coils or my curls, I would say, aren't too dry. I still maintain that moist juicy curls throughout the day yeah i don't i honestly don't like the dry look comment below do you use water to refresh your curls or do you prefer oil i tried the oil but it's not for me at all it's not for me and that's why i stick to the eco styler gel like some products that you know most naturalistas use they don't work for me so um, the Eco Styler Gel is not too drying on my hair. I need some moisture. Really need the moisture in my hair. And of course, guys, if you see any white residue, when my hair is fully dry, it will disappear. So, yeah. And usually when I'm twining my hair, I pull it back. I just twine and pull back. Just twine and pull back. It gives me more volume. How we looking? Trust me guys, my hair is doing so well. Like I'm getting so many compliments. I don't know, like I'm so surprised that I was so nervous to cut my hair to begin with. Like I'm really getting the hang of this to be honest. And it's not that hard. The only time consuming part of the big chop is styling my hair, which is once a week. But I really do like the messy look. So day five onwards is the best day for me. Like I love when my curls are not too tight. And I have that really cute fur going on. Trust me. Like I look forward to any day after day four. Like that's when my curls are really flourishing. Like they look so good. Yeah. So as I said the white residue. They will disappear. Just add a little bit more water. And if you want, you can add some leave-in conditioner, but I don't think I need a leave-in conditioner today. And then I'll use my pick and I'll just, um, not too much though, just lift it a little bit. Just to get some additional body going on. Guys, comment below, what's your go-to edge control? I've been using the soft touch hair wax and you know, I'm still trying to find it. This doesn't give me the best hold, but it works right now. So I just add a little around the edges. Guys, can you imagine when I had cut my hair, I never have no edges in them. And look at me now, edges. Yes, guys, we got the castor oil. I know I'm looking crazy right now. I haven't perfected my soup, guys. Okay, I'm still working on it, so bear with me. Still working on it, so. Soup. <laughs> soup. Um, how am I looking? Am I doing a good job? This is what, I mean, this works for me, but as I said, I'm not a professional. This is just my. This is my go-to method, not a professional. So 
always open for any suggestions or recommendations on what to do what to change yeah it's a learning process for me and you know i'm really enjoying the journey so if you have any recommendations you'd like to offer me or suggestions just comment below always open for feedback sometimes i'm not sure if um i should coil like here i could use my finger and coil and then i'll just do the baby hair part after but then they they coil back you see what i'm saying so it's a challenge for me sometimes like they just curl right back so i don't know yeah i'm i'm still working on the suit guys bear with me i'm still working on the suit and the white part from the edge control it will go away yeah so i haven't perfected the soup i've tried the toothbrush method i've tried i've tried toothbrush i've tried the um the edge brush but um this my tail comb just work, works just fine for me so um yeah as you can see they're just curling back up so i can I, I there's not really much i can do about that it just curls right back up yeah it's not the best but i mean yeah it works i'm still working on it guys i'm still learning yeah and then um lady shelly has this hydrating mist that i would actually add to my hair sometimes to give it a little bit more sheen some hydration so like this color as you can see this one needs to be retwined so i'll just take some water right take a little bit of gel and just coil look how long my hair is guys it's i'm really proud of the growth can you imagine look at that look at that Ooh. So let's feel around and retwine let's feel around and re how are looking you like it giving me a little problem with the soup but um we're grateful for the baby hairs and the growth yeah so um final step you can add a little hair oil or some hydrating mist i'm gonna show you that so this is the lady shelly pure glow hydrating mist um sometimes it comes out a little bit thick like a leave-in conditioner Rub it around and I'll just add it in my hair. Guys, look at how juicy the curls are. Talk the truth. Look how they wake up nice. See what I'm saying? Love that for me. Yeah. Love that for me. And just, you know, retwine here and there. Fix what needs to be fixed. Mmm. This. Yeah. So guys look at growth talk about it talk about it guys comment below aren't you proud of me like i'm really getting the hang of this naturalista thing <laughs> so excited so excited so proud of myself everything guys and then i'm gonna take my head scarf so my sister gave this to me but trust me it's the best thing i fold it in half and i will just um push these back a little bit and just and just tie my hair for about about 5 to 15 minutes depending if I have time it could be longer I mean I'm not in any rush I'm home so we just tie it just tie it and set it and we'll just wait and I'll show you the end result pretty easy right pretty pretty easy um 
I don't think it's hard. This is my go-to method. So as I said, I'm always open for recommendations, suggestions on how to fix my go-to um, wash and go routine or how I wake up my curls or how I do my edges or what I use to moisturize, define my curls, choice of edge control, choice of or go-to gel to use. So yes guys, trust me, spam the comments, let me know what you change, what you use, what's that product that is a must-have that I should be using right now that I'm not using. Because as you know, I pretty much use Lady Shelly Beauty and of course my new favorite product is uh, Jackie's don't shrink. So if you'd like an updated hair routine for my six month anniversary comment below and I'll definitely do that for you guys So yeah, we're just waiting right now Time for the reveal Oh And then of course this one sticks right there What you think? nice and juicy curls i mean yeah as i said I'm the right here never really laid too nice but nothing we can't fix nothing we can't fix see yeah so there you have it guys So there we have it guys, um, how we're looking, I'm getting better but so far you know I'm happy with what I've accomplished and as I go along I'll update if anything changes so yes comment below what do you think did I do a good job you know the works like comment share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend spam the comments and yes guys thank you so much for supporting me we're at 15k 20k up next and you know i'm just really appreciative of you guys love you mean it and thank you for watching my channel see you soon bye